Okay, this is the uh, block uh, sandpaper model. It's a model of elastic rebound. What's involved is a block of wood with some sandpaper glued to one side, a little eye bolt on, stuck in one end and the rubber band string attached to that, and a piece of, uh, this was a, a loop of sandpaper used for a sanding, uh, uh, sanding system, belt sander that's been cut so we can lay it out flat. So the idea is that if I pull on this string of rubber bands, even though I pull with a very steady motion, the block doesn't move steadily, but instead moves in bits and starts. You can think of this each movement of the block as an earthquake. When I pull on the string of rubber bands, I'm storing elastic energy in the rubber bands. Then at the moment the block slides, I'm not putting more energy into the rubber bands at the time it slides. It's the energy in the rubber bands that's getting converted into kinetic energy and ultimately into heat as the block slides and releases the energy that's been stored. This can be uh, done in a more elaborate way where you keep the location of the block because we've got a measuring tape here glued to the table or pasted down. And so if I kept track of where the leading edge of the rubber band string is and another student say would keep track of where the leading edge of the block is, I can move this steadily along and every time there's an earthquake, we can make a note of where the rubber band leading edge is, okay, and where the front of the block is. Here the block is at 34, leading edge is at 72. Now the leading, the leading edge is at 80, the block is at 38.